So there's been a reasonable amount of talk about these refurb hard drives on eBay, so I got a pile of them. Let's find out what's in here. I haven't looked in here before, you pop it off. Ooh, you got a nice shipping carton. That's a big one, I'm gonna keep this guy around. Hard drives are nice. And here we go, I got these two terrors. I think they're about 30 bucks pop. They say they're a refurb. There's a lot of them. I'm gonna go test them all, see how fast they are. And here the drive is. So it looks pretty unmarked. There's a few scratches and stuff on it. You can see there's a few marks on it. You probably can't see it on camera, like right here. You can see it. Back, looks like a normal hard drive. We're gonna be testing all of these, chucking them through bad blocks and a few more testing and fun stuff like that. See how it does. Um, what else are you gonna do? Yeah, we're gonna torture it, see if they can kill them. I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is label them and chuck them in the database so I can find out which ones fail and know which ones are which. Let's gonna put tape on all of them and get them all labeled first. All the drives have been labeled, so this drive here is the number 8 drive. And you can see here I have a hard drive on spreadsheet which I'm gonna keep track of where all my drives have come from, how long they are, what their current status is, if they have good health or not, so I'm gonna monitor that all here. And as when they pick up errors and stuff, um, I'm gonna put it there. So here's the first of those hard drives. Here's the stack of them right here. You can see them, they're all happy though. Here's the first of them that I pulled out. It's been on for 27,000 hours or about three years, which would mean about halfway of the lifespan depending on who you're talking to. But luckily it doesn't show any errors. I hoping they didn't reset any of the error counts, but I kind of doubt they would have reset the error count without resetting that. So let's do a quick bad blocks WSV um, slash dev slash SDA. Eh, bad block. Let's spell that wrong. Bad blocks. Okay, good. So now that's running. So I've been doing this for quite some time, and we're almost done on most of these drives, so about 90% done. None of them have reported errors, which is great. They all. I checked all of their smart status here. They all appear to be around 25 to 27,000 hours with no reported errors. Um, I'm gonna run a smart long test on all of them after I do the bad blocks test and then I'm gonna try the next batch. So yeah, they're all scrubbing. Um, speed is definitely slow. We've gotten to about 80 megs a second just because of how hard drives are a circle and you can get a lot more data reading the outside rather than the inside. Just how hard drives work. And this has been my hard drive testing scenario. So I have a few extra drives externally here. I have a drive or two inside this bay, I have a few more inside this case, so it's all kind of messy, but it works for now until I finally set up the real servers and stuff I'm going to be using for the situation. So as you can see, the drives are working fine. This here is my um, kind of new storage system. It will show me which drives are doing what, if they have errors, which drives have errors, all the fun things you could ever kind of want to do with them. All the stats you could need for drives, all this kind of exciting, fun things. So yeah, it is it's LizardFS, which is kind of an open source esque version of MooseFS, and probably what I'm going to be using these drives for, so I can easily add stuff to a cluster. Overall, though, with eBay drives, they seem to be fine. They work well, and I'm not complaining. They do have used hours, and they probably won't last me much more than maybe four years if I'm lucky compared to new WD Reds, where I'm pretty optimistic of them um, hitting 6 or 7. I might only get 3 years on these, but for the price I'm paying, I'm paying less than a half, normally a third of what those new WD Reds, which I normally buy, are. So for backup drives, I think they're perfectly fine. This guy says it's reporting errors, I will go and scrub him some more due to his error reporting and see if it's either um, LizardFS screwing up, which I still need to do a bit of investigation on before I put it actually fully into production, it's fully on testing right now. Or if it's an actual drive failure, which I run through bad blocks. I'll update you in a few months if there's actually any issues or some stuff. Thanks for watching this video, and please stay tuned, because there's probably going to be updates to this video about more storage and stuff, and probably more on LizardFS.